One. I want to make a quick video. Someone asked me about how I use my knee scooter to sit down and, and get up. And so I'm going to make this video to kind of show you three chair scenarios that are like common chairs on my first floor. Um, I am going to say though that I have two knee scooters, one down in my basement and this one. And this one I love because the wheels are wider and it's just so much more stable. And I can't recommend it enough. The other one is just the occasional knee scooter. But so I want to go sit in my office chair where I work. And so I'm out position. I can't sit down this way because there's no way I can get to things. So I'm going to position myself. And I just do this little turn around thing. And then I'm going to back up. I'm going to make sure this, this office chair is on wheels. So I want to make sure it's all the way back. It's not going to like slide out on me. I like to have always like a couple points of contact on my hands. Make sure my leg is, is mostly turned in so it's straight, so I'm not going, and then it's gonna transition down. And then I'm able to, to scoot around and work at my desk. Now when I wanna get up, these scooters right there, and I'm gonna just bring that in. Again, I got two points, I got my foot here, kinda of like perpendicular more or less with a the knee scooter, I stand up and I go on and I'm on my way. Gotta go over to the living room where I have another chair. I got a few obstacles. This one's a little bit like interesting to, now this is why I love the, I just went over a dog bone, big, big all terrain wheels, no big deal. But I'm gonna get into, uh, into this one. And uh, again, so here I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like where I'm positioned where my body's going to go here. And I've, I'm grabbing this, but I'm not really hanging on to this for support. It's just holding on so my body kind of knows where I am in the, in the universe. I'm going to turn my good foot so I'm sitting down, putting an iron hand for reference. And then I'm just going to sit down, got my foot up, and there we go. If I want to put my feet out, I'd have to move the, the knee scooter. And I'm going to bring it just a little closer. When I get up, I'm going to put my knee parallel here. I got this kind of like angled, 45 degree angle, my good foot. And I'm just going to get up like that. Probably the hardest chair is the dining room chair because it's like tucked in. I don't sit at it too much, but I do sit at it at breakfast time. So you gotta pick your chair here with the knee scooter. They're not all gonna work. Um, I'm, I need a spot where my knee scooter can fit and my leg can go out. That's my chair, not this one. I could try that one, but then I block the path here. So this is a little bit out of the way. I'm just going to pull up alongside, I'll pull out the chair so it's kind of nice and comfortable. And I'm just going to like slide in and then I can rest my, my foot on the, on the knee scooter um, and enjoy myself. And then when I want to get up, I will put my knee here, um, got my foot. This is kind of parallel, so my foot's going to be just kind of parallel. Again, just point of reference, I'm not pulling on this. Just like a reference place to keep the knee scooter from moving away. And then I'm just gonna, I'm not even leaning on this. I'm just, again, two points of contact, the brain thinking, and I get up. And there we are. And that is how I get up from my chairs. Oh, and then we gotta put the chair back in. There you go. And that is how I get up non-weight bearing from my three common chairs. Talk to you later.